A great wine and food pairing can bring a smile to any wine lover's face. But to be sure, a great wine and food combination can be found just about anywhere. It could be at a restaurant, at your friend's home, even sitting on the couch just watching TV. Now there can be traditional wine and food pairings and there can be non-traditional wine and food pairings. And if you're under the non-traditional, well this video is for you. Hi, I'm Reggie Norito, here to help you learn about wine one sip at a time. In this video, we're going to go over some wacky wine and food combinations that I've compiled throughout the years. But before we go any further, if you have any crazy combinations that you'd like to share, make sure that you list your comments below. Now let's do this. My first crazy combination is champagne and potato chips. Many of my friends are really into this pairing and for good reason. It is absolutely addicting. I was first exposed to this pairing years ago when I attended a champagne tasting. When you walked in the door, they greeted you with a glass of champagne, and once you went into the room, uh, there was a table that was filled with finger foods, whether it was some crackers and cheese and salted nuts and potato chips. And I will tell you that salty oiliness from the potato chips really goes well with the fresh acidity and the spritz that comes from champagne. And if you don't have potato chips, you can always substitute with french fries or even popcorn. And if you don't have champagne, you can certainly do Spanish cava or Italian Prosecco. Those would make great substitutes. Now let's move on to the next crazy combination. My next crazy combination is prime rib with sauterne. Okay, I'm reaching here. I understand that. However, I swear to you, it absolutely works. I got the idea back in a restaurant I used to work at back in the 1980s. And this particular restaurant, a noted author had bought the restaurant out and the chef for the main course had prepared a wonderful prime rib and with it he paired a French sauterne. And if you don't know what that is, it's a sweet dessert wine that is made primarily from Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc. And you wouldn't think those two would go together, but I will tell you that uh, the salty crust, the bark that's on the outside of the prime rib really goes well with the sweetness there, and they're both rich. So there's a symbiotic relationship that goes on there, and it's just absolutely incredible. You need to try it. This next pairing comes from my good friend, Lori Lindrup. And you need to know that her original pairing was Pinot Noir with the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I tried it, and it worked out okay. But when I switched out the Pinot for a Zinfandel, I thought it worked out a lot better. And you need to know that there are two types of Zinfandel out in the market. One is dry and the other one has a little bit of residual sugar, which I use the latter. And I'll tell you why. It's because that little bit of sweetness that comes with that Zinfandel really brought out the jelly and made it an excellent match. And make sure that you toast that bread too. This next pairing takes me back to the days when my wife and I first started dating. Back in those days, my wife was in graduate school, I was working three jobs, so we didn't have a whole lot of time to spend together. And when we did, we liked to drink some wine and maybe eat some food and just hang out. And back in those days, I was collecting some of the George de Latour Private Reserve Cabernets that were out in the market. And believe me, they are nowhere near expensive back then than they are now. Um, and this one had some age on it, and I came over to her place, and I had some Jack in the Box Ultimate Cheeseburgers, if you can believe it. And I will tell you, that match was, was something else. Uh, because when you have an old Cabernet, with that age, what happens is the tannins begin to soften, uh, the fruit starts to come a little bit more forward into the wine, maybe being even a little bit dried. You pair that with the, the beef from the hamburger, with that cheese, and it's a match made in heaven. And my wife and I frequently comment on that when we talk about wine and food pairing. Now we'll go to our final crazy combination. My wife and I absolutely love this final pairing, and it's ice cream with tawny port. Now, as far as ice cream is concerned, we went with vanilla ice cream. We tried some other flavors like chocolate and so forth, but we really felt like vanilla was the way to go. Uh, we also added some chocolate sauce and uh, some toasted walnuts to the dessert. We really felt like it added some layers of flavor to the whole thing. Um, and as far as the port is concerned, we went with a tawny port. Now, out in the market, there are two types of port that you can find. The first one is a bottle-aged port, and the other one is a barrel-aged port. Uh, with the bottle-aged port, it spent a little bit of time in barrel, but the aging is done primarily in the bottle. So when it's released, the wines tend to be richer, fuller, and more tannic, and it doesn't really work out with this pairing. However, if you have a tawny port, which is what we went with, 
most of the aging takes place before it's released. So there's a considerable amount of time that this wine spends in barrel and it's drinkable on release. So you get that silky smoothness and those caramel and dried uh, fruit flavors that really make for an incredible match with the vanilla ice cream dessert. It's one of those cases where the sum is far greater than the individual parts. And I guarantee you that if you try it, you'll never look back again. Well, there you have it. My list of wacky wine and food combinations. Now, I understand that wine and food pairing is an individual thing, but the whole point of this video is to get you thinking about maybe some crazy combinations of your own that you might want to experiment with. Now, if you like the content of this video, I hope you might consider pressing the like icon. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I hope that you'll consider pressing subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Peace out.